This primal is not like anything anybody, including me, has ever seen. It is water cooled. Now, it's got an actual radiator. Whoa! What's up guys, the last time I went to Primal RC, I came home with a giant box. One of them is right here. In fact, there were two boxes. That's why this says box one of two. You see that right here? And this is the body to the largest production, ready to run monster truck that you can buy today. The Primal MT Raminator, baby. And in fact, check out what's on my shirt. Do you see that right there? We're going back to where it all began. Actually, let me show you inside this box. These are the decals the Primal came with. Now, you tell me if you've seen a truck with larger decals than this. Riding in the Primal RC Prius. Mike, how many MPGs are we getting? 52.8 MPGs. Not bad. Electric only mode, baby. All right, Nav, I'm gonna keep left up to the floor. Calm down. I heard you. <laughs> Battery's fully charged. Keep right, it wants to take the truck side, okay. What does it think, the Prius is a truck? <laughs> well, we got the Primal RC stickers, so. Oh, dude, that makes sense. We have the Primal RC stickers. I think the highway, the nav thinks this is a truck. It's kind of funny, huh? <laughs> we have 2.7 miles left, five minutes away. Let's check out our MPGs. Oh, We're at that's... 55 MPGs, baby, for 55 miles. There we go. That's incredible. We're about to pull into Primal RC soon. I think it should be somewhere where there's a giant red monster truck. I don't know who those guys are, but they gave me a, a wave. <laughs> I think they saw the Primal RC sticker on the Prius right here. There it is. They know what that's about. All right, guys, here we are. Primal, baby. Over 55 miles per gallon, the Prius. I got my mask on because, you know, in these times, you gotta be safe. Let's walk inside Primal RC, check out what surprise they have for us. I think I already see it. This is the Primal MT that I actually have. As I said before, guys, I was one of the first in the world to get the original. Fit scale, 80 pound, 49cc reed valve monster truck. This thing has the largest production RC tires that money can buy. This is an old school Traxxas Emax 3906. The one with the two speed baby, you know, where you could shift on the fly. Look at how big this fit scale Primal MT is compared to, I guess, what you would call one of the largest electric monster trucks from, um, you know, the early 2000s, the late 90s. Oh, we have Dan over there. <laughs> How you doing? What's up, Dan? How you doing? Good to see you. Last time we saw each other was what, like uh, two years ago. I know that when you were designing this, I think you were telling me a story about like the dimensions you wanted it to be. And in fact, I'll tell you right now, like in my house, this has about a couple millimeters clearance before it gets in through the front door. Yep. I think that was the plan, right? You gotta roll these things in. It just fit. We tried to make it a little smaller, but it actually ended up getting bigger as, as, as production went on. This is the world's first electric conversion, but this electric conversion is not a direct swap as you would expect on most uh, nitro chassis. This is a highly sophisticated, tailor-made, specific to this truck, innovative, top of the line electric conversion. But what's really so unique about it? Well, it maintains 
almost the entire drivetrain that this truck is known for. When it was first introduced and I first saw it, honestly, I was blown away. And to this day, when I take it outside to go run it, people ask me non-stop questions. I can't even run this and have fun. Sometimes people want to know so much about it. Now this particular one is completely revolutionary as well. What's special about this particular truck, Dan? It, it doesn't use the gas engine anymore. It was converted by um, a guy called Chris Fine from Fine Designs. He made this whole custom system for it. I'll show you what it looks like underneath the body. This body is also a, a custom wrap. Oh wow, very nice. Dark Side Customs. He makes a whole bunch of different ones for this truck. You should definitely check him out if you very want to cool. change the look of your truck. Dark Side Customs, okay. And uh, I don't Do you think they can wrap. make a wrap for my Prius? <laughs> you probably could if you call him. <laughs> probably. Does I'll be the only cool Prius wrap driving around, right? Yeah, there you go. All right, I'm going to take the body off so you can see what makes this thing go. This just pops off like that when you don't have any pins on it. Yeah. All right, the first thing you're going to notice is obviously the battery tray was where the gas tank went. Right now I got two 4S in series making 8S. I think that's the sweet spot for this truck if you want over 30 mile an hour speeds and tons of power all the time. Um, another really cool thing about it is it has its own little radiator with a fan with a, with a battery, its own little battery to power that fan if you even need it. But when you're driving the air goes through the radiator just like almost in a real car you barely even need this fan. But if you're you know, in mud yeah. or whatever. And I you mean, really I, I think cool it's a it cool accessory. It's an extra thing. It's a water-cooled electric. So no one else go. has done yeah. it. This is this is what's amazing, Matt. This is a custom motor with a 10 millimeter shaft. This one's 500 kV. Uh, wow. It's obviously water-cooled. It has a little storage tank right here for for the for the extra water, and it uses also a water-cooled ESC. So the water's flowing through the motor, the ESC back to the radiator and cooling everything off. It only needs a 120 amp ESC, I believe this is. And it it's never, fine, right? It, it's fine. It's unbelievable. It's so efficient. Actually, that gets really long run times too. You would not, you know, yeah. expect from a giant heavy truck like this. We, we've got about 20, 20 minutes on one, at least 20, 25 wow. minutes on one pack. What would you say the weight differential is compared to the gas it's, version? It seems similar to it's, me. It's about maybe, maybe it a little savings. Battery packs. You know, if you only put one battery, one big 6S battery pack, it's uh -huh. probably like two pounds savings over the gas. Yeah. So not a huge difference when it's 80 pounds. You don't really notice the right. weight. Right. The other interesting key feature of this electric conversion, notice the disc brakes. They are still on the drive shafts, what's known as the pumpkins. Highly realistic setup if you look at the Monster Jam trucks, which this actually is is the one-fifth scale version of that is the Dodge Raminator body for a reason they were not kidding when it comes to this electric conversion it's very interesting that they do not use the motor for braking you still maintain the original braking system this not only adds cool interesting realistic features like the water cooling system but it also maintains most of the driveline that this truck is known for. Now, normally if I open up this teardrop cover, you'll see a chain drive system here, which takes power from the motor, transfers it to the transfer case. What I'm saying is the reverse in the system is still operated from the remote, baby. That is very cool. The motor here does not go into reverse. You're probably asking yourself, well, what's the difference? You know, why can't I just go reverse on my electric motor? Well, the reality is when you're running something this heavy, nearly 80 pounds, you really want to reduce a lot of that drivetrain shock. Meaning you want the actual gears themselves to do the mechanical reverse switching for you. You don't want the motor to go full forward, full reverse, kind of like that. You know, a lot of times that is where people wind up stripping their gears. I notice a giant yellow sticker here on the front of the chassis. It says Team Fine Designs Electric Conversion. Can you tell us a little something about this, Dan? Yep, that's a guy that made the whole kit for us. He's been doing this for many, many years, and he's like the master of electric conversions for, for anything, in boats, planes, and, and on road. So he was the man to, to ask to do this job. He came out with this awesome conversion. Like you see, it's, it's one of a kind. All this stuff comes all pre-assembled together as much as possible. All you do is do a couple bolts and bolt it right in. You know, four bolts that this this is his own custom CNC piece. The whole motor just wow. mounts in using the same four bolts that the motor, the engine had. So everything just bolts right into place. Right. He made the, the conversion super easy to install. Uh, we're gonna, we actually sold a few already, but we have um, 
on Primal RC website. You could order them. You could put your name on the waiting list right now. We have more coming in. I noticed you have some of these uh, super hardcore steering servos here in the front. Yeah, yeah. The Primal we, RC. We, I saw these on the Primal RC website. I'm mm -hmm. thinking of picking up a pair myself actually in the future. So these are 130 each. Whoa, 130 each. So, That's insane. 260. I've actually driven it with one servo and it actually does steer it, but it, you know, it's a lot yeah. of demand on it. But with two, oh my God, you could steer it no matter what. Well, now that I know the specifics of this thing, how about we run it? Hell yeah. Are you ready? Wow. Whoa, massive wheelie. I saw you had some awesome wheelie bar in the back there. Hey. Yeah, that wheelie bar is getting a workout. Block long wheelie right there. Wow, tough brakes. Breaks. So for old time. Now that's what you call a donut. That was crazy! That scared me! Wow! Saved. This thing is a great jumper on the electric power. Oh, 
Yeah! did a crazy run how's the condition of the motor dan i could put my hand on it and it's just a little warm and Man, I, don't, I, I see your hand on it yep i don't even have the cooling fan on either so you surprised me with those jumps you weren't <laughs> even taking it easy on this thing i bet everybody wants to know how fast this is well the current setup we have going we did a top speed of 28 miles an hour which in reality i'll be honest with you is exceptionally good this is already twice as fast as my top speed on my own stock primal but of course i was only running the factory gear ratio even in the gas model you can get these to hit 30 miles per hour with the speed gearing set which primal does include when you buy one so make sure you buy one we're rolling in the place we're doing a steady 65 we're getting those mpgs all up in them high people trying to pass me but no they can't do it why because i'm in the prius and this is the primal mt rolling dirty version hbi tracks a slow seat hbi tracks a slow seat i'm just rolling in the prius trying to get a little mickey d's fish and chips on the interstate i-495 going down southeast came back from a primal rc road trip beat up with my boy nitro gang mike we're getting those mpgs we're in the 55 mpg club i'm about to make a left turn into the left lane i got my turn signal indicator going hard ain't nobody gonna pass me while i'm in this ride dude how many mpgs do we get here you want to know how many mpgs we got i want to show you right now the total trip 116 miles i averaged 56.4 mpg this means i basically used two gallons of fuel two gallons of fuel guys that is almost nothing first ever look at the electric conversion primal mt it was insane what did you think man dude that thing rips did you see that jump it did yeah the jump the donuts dude that thing is crazy when that when that primal took that jump man i just could not believe it because <laughs> i know my gas version it probably could not even climb up that hill at that speed well for sure at that speed but it could still climb up it's still a primal mt baby <laughs> i think it's crazy all right guys we're out see you later okay. this is my uh alder prius Ooh, it's nice. a 08. Nice. Right. I like the sticker. yeah yeah you like the sticker we i'm calling this the primal rc uh hybrid <laughs> prius <laughs> i was gonna put the ryminator logo on it uh, from the original stickers oh but god it, they're, well yeah but they're too large how would i you know but i'm eventually going to do it
throwing the Christmas tree out the window because the primal MT is gonna take out the trash. All right, partner. Keep on rolling, baby. You know what time it is. <laughs> Nitro. So fine, but her breath is like ooh. She says she wanna dance, but she don't know how to pull. I'm iced out, ooh, looking like a star. Ooh. Her name is Jenny, ooh, bitch don't have no panties. Ooh. I'm Steph Curry, when I hit the three, I hit the... What's up? I don't wanna hear this once a day. Come on, let's get big. Come on.